Wamiliki viwanda wana hofu kuwa kuna upungufu wa korosho katika eneo la pwani. Wengi wa kulimo wamekuwa wakikata mikorosho au kwa jina lingine mikanjo tangu miaka ya tisini baada ya viwanda vingi kufunga milango yao. Kwa sasa viwanda vipya vimeanza kupiga kambi ila changamoto kuu sasa ni malighafi. Tobias Chanje na ripoti kutoka ukando wa pwani. Ukulima wa korosho ulikuwa umepiga hatua sana katika ukanda wa pwani. Lakini ilipotimia miaka ya tisini, wengi wa kulima walikata mkorosho au mikanju na kuanza kutumia kama kuni baada viwanda kudidimia. Kwa mjibu wa takwimu kutoka idara inayohusika na korosho na mafuta, ukulima wa korosho ulidimia kutoka ikari 1028 mnamo mwaka 2015 hadi 2021 mwaka 2016. Uchomaji wake pia ulipungua kutoka tani 1018 hadi 1011 msimu huo huo ambapo pia uzaji wake ulishuka kutoka milioni 506 hadi milioni 398 na japo korosho zinapandwa pwani viwanda vyake vipo eneo la mlima Kenya ila kwa sasa kuna afueni kwani baadhi ya viwanda vimerejea pwani na tayari kuanza huduma japo malighafi ndio changamoto even enough to keep the factory running through we need more cash here and so more work needs to be done farmers need to get involved we are happy the county has jumped in and we are also happy the support of uh, Slovakia kwa sasa kiwanda hiki kinawapa wakulima mikorosho au mikanju iliyopandikizwa na ambayo huchukua miaka miwili unusu kukoma tofauti na ile isiyopandikizwa ambayo huchukua miaka tisa a capacity of 3 metric tons for cashew nuts and uh, as you've also noticed we are also processing macadamia nuts here so we are bringing macadamia nuts from Meru also here mradi huu umedhaminiwa na jumuiya ya Ulaya EU kwa kima cha shilingi milioni 240 na kwa mujibu wa serikali ya kaunti ya Kilifi sekta hii itafufuka tena katika kaunti za Kilifi kwale na lamu leo katika miezi miwili hii nimepitia viwanda viwili vya korosho na nimeona vile m, e, kwamba umuhimu gani wa sisi kama county kuregesha hasa mzao wa korosho tena mashinani well, we have 15000 farmers in our database now we are still looking out for more even the larger farmers and uh, what we've done farmers in lamu kwale and kilifi is our mainstay so most of our farmers are from here We are also working with the schools. Now we have 172 schools we are working with who we are giving them seedlings and forming agriculture clubs. Ndo na kulenga shule ili kuongeza mazao. Gavana wa Kilifi anasema kuwa wanahamasisha umma kupanda mikanju ili kuongeza misitu. Na sasa mkanju faida yake eh, vile wakulima wanapata pesa. Kile kimenifurahisha zaidi leo katika hapa mtambo ni kwamba korosho ikipimwa ile ile ratili kipima bei inaenda kwa 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 simu ya mpimaji na bei hiyo hiyo huwezi kumtolea nusu kilo mwananchi ama nini inaenda moja kwa moja kupeleka Mpesa kwa kwa mkulima miongoni mwa mataifa haya EU ni taifa la Slovakia ambalo linawasaidia wakulima 1015 of the partnership of course i mean slovakia has been active uh, in in the coastal area for quite a while and this is a, one of the great examples together with the european union and other partners slovakia has been quite active in order to to support uh, and use the development assistance in order to support the trade tobias chanji kt news county akilifi na masanti sana tobias chanji wataalamu wa masuala ya afya ya